Hi yoga friends, I'm glad you joined me today. We are going to be in a seated position today. We're not going to get off the mat. So grab a mat and join me. We are also going to use a strap today and you can use a strap or you can use in our classes we've used ties. You can use um, a towel or a belt or anything that you might have. So we're just going to use you know this one prop today. So we're going to sit in our Sukhasana, our easy pose, our seated position. So what if that looks like to you? Um, you can do cross your ankles or um, you can bring your foot all the way onto the thigh area, but whatever's comfortable for you is our comfortable seated position. So I want you to sit up nice and tall on the sits bones. Bring your hands to the knees, but the palms are up. It's kind of a form of a receiving. So we wanna, we wanna try to open up our hearts and our minds today. I want you to close your eyes and then just try to eliminate any outside thoughts. Try not to go down that road of conversations and bills to pay and jobs and kids and things like that. Just try to eliminate those, those things, those outside thoughts. Just stay within, stay present as we go through this practice. So as we start the practice, we want to make sure that our breath is the thing that we're working with because as strong as your breath is, that's how strong your practice will be. So we're gonna go ahead and start to lengthen our inhales and exhales. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose. You feel a cool rush of the air. And then we're gonna exhale through the mouth. I really set that breath free. So when you're at home, go ahead and practice this. You can practice this even at work or when you're driving, but I want you to lengthen the inhales and exhales. Really take your, your thoughts, um, your awareness to your breath, okay? So you feel the belly rise and fall. And you even ask yourself, am I breathing fast or slow? Am I breathing deep or shallow? You can kind of talk to yourself about your breath. And anytime you get in a, in a situation, you need to come back to the breath. Okay, and lengthen the inhales and exhales. It has um, plays a large part in your central nervous system. So we want to do everything we can to calm the mind and to calm the body. So as we sit here, we're going to bring the shoulders back. I'm going to drop the chin to the chest. Rotate the right ear to your right shoulder. I'm going to take the left hand out to the side and bring the fingertips to the mat. You just feel a little deeper stretch this way. And then bring your chin back to your chest and rotate your left ear to your left shoulder. And bring the fingertips of the right hand out to the side of the mat. Feel the stretch. And your chin back to your chest. Then lace your fingers and bring your hands to the back of your head, resting your thumbs on your neck. Just using the gravity from the head, bringing your chin closer to your chest. Keep the shoulders even and pull the uh, elbows back. And take three long deep breaths. And release your hands. Bring your hands back down to your knees. And then we'll do a seated cat cow. So to do that, we're going to arch the back, pull back on the knees, look up. Exhale as you round your spine, bring your chin to your chest. And come forward again, arch the back, look up, pull back on the knees. And exhale, one more time, come all the way back. Then you do this five times if you're at home, and do this on your own. Come back to your seated position, and then we're just going to make some hip rolls. So we're going to start at the left side and we're going to bring our body all the way around and we're just rotating from the hip, from the waist and pull back on the knee as you come back up. You inhale as you come up and exhale as you come down. Bring your nose as close as you can to the mat or to the floor and then all the way back around. And when you've done it three times on one side, then reverse and go the other direction. And each time Pulling back on the knees, on all, all the way around, big circles. And breathing. Then come back to your seated position and switch out your feet because we will tend to favor one side or the other. 
Um, we have hips that are stiffer on one side um, than the other. Sometimes um, the hips and um, sometimes the knees, they give us some trouble. So we have, we have favorable sides. Bring arms up and lace the fingers together and press upward. And then tuck your chin. And again, come all the way up. Arch the back. Look up with that under your neck. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Come forward, rounding the spine. And then one more time. And like I said, you can do this five times at home. And then round the spine. And one more time, all the way back up. And then this time, I want you to release the fingertips. Come all the way down. Plant your right hand and bring your left arm up. And then just start to lean to your right. Just leaning from the waist. And you're going to feel the stretch from the hip all the way through the fingertips. We want to stretch all the way through the shoulders. And then we're going to bring the left hand up. Right arm comes up, stretch through the fingertips, and then lean to your left. Keep your sits bones and your knees on the mat and really stretch. This is great in the mornings or um, if you've had a long day at work or driving. And then come back up. Bring your fingers together again and press outward and upward. Then we're going to twist to the right, back to center, and then to the left, and then back to center, and then we're going to let the fingertips part again, all the way down. Then take the right hand to the left knee, and breathe, deep inhale, look forward, and then twist, and look over that left shoulder, cutting your eyes all the way to the left. A nice final twist. And again, this is great in the morning and in the evening. And come back to center and lace the fingers together again and all the way up and twist to the right. Back to center and to the left. Now let your fingers part, come all the way down. Put your right hand, left hand comes to the knee. Look forward, take a deep inhale. And exhale, twist and look over that right shoulder. This will be great for your digestive system. So if you have a late dinner, sometimes this is really good before you go to bed. And then release and bring your fingertips together and press outward and upward. And this time I want you to bend all the way forward. And then all the way back up. And then release. Grab your strap and uh, come up on your hands and your knees. And then just sit back on your knees. I like for you to curl the toes under and sit back on your heels. Some people have um, problems doing that because of their feet and because of their toes. But if you don't, try to do that because that's really good for you. Have your feet in those shoes all day. So it feels really good to stress the toes out. It's really good for the toes and the feet to do that. Go ahead and grab your strap or whatever you've got, your belt, and hold on to the strap. Stretch out that strap. So back on your heels. And then you're gonna bring the strap up and take your gaze upward and then behind your back. And we are breathing each time we come up with an inhale and exhale and come forward. And again, all the way up, inhale, and exhale. And one more time up, and forward. And if you're at home, do this five times. This is so good for you. Go ahead and hold on to that strap and just pull to the right. Pull down all the way to the right. Back to center, and then all the way to the left. To keep your elbows as straight as possible. Back to center and all the way to the right. Back 
to center and all the way to the left. Do this five times. Take a deep inhale. Exhale as you come forward. Release your strap. Go ahead and sit on the mat again. Bring your arms up and fall forward. Grab hold of your feet, your ankles, your shins, and just round your spine. This is called caterpillar. Bring your arms up and then down. Now I hope you've enjoyed the practice today. We've done um, some mat work today, so we'll try again another day and we'll do some maybe outdoor standing positions. So join me again and until we meet, namaste.